Come on. I mean, are you serious right now? Look how dope this is. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Amazing RC. Brian here, and I just come up with something really cool from Walmart. Had to do a quick video on it. I'm actually going to take this thing apart today. Now, if you guys remember, my old SCX24 had two different die cast bodies for it. We started off with this really cool Chevy body, and it was super duper nice. I believe it or not, we get a ton of views on the videos that we made with this. Only problem was, well, actually, there were two problems. Number one, the wheel wells were off. Now, a lot of people really didn't notice that. But some of you did, and I obviously did. But if you notice on here, if I try to line these wheel wells up, the wheelbase is way too long on the Silverado. So then I ended up with this Bronco body. Same company, Jada Toys. I think at the time I paid $20 for the body. I think now they're almost $25, you know, after inflation and everything. But the wheel well, the wheelbase was perfect. Well, it had another issue to it as well. They're very heavy. Sure, you spend the extra couple bucks on it, but they're extremely heavy. So I had to not only get an upgraded shock setup, I had to double up the springs just to get this thing to hold up these heavy bodies. When it was all said and done, I had magnets for the body to lock down. Super duper nice. I enjoyed it. Someone else is enjoying it now. You, of course, you get, you know, opening doors and opening hood. You know, both of them, you know, had that. I still have the Silverado bunch. I'm glad I do, too, because we're going to do a comparison with this American Legends body that we have here. This is, I think, a 19, was a 1966, yeah, 1966 Chevy C10 pickup. I've already taken it out of the box, so we'll just go ahead and remove it. But I wanted you guys to see it in the box. This is what you're getting, $11 plus tax, but I mean $11. It's half, over half of what it costs to get one of these Jada toys. Now, as far as quality, as far as, you know, the die cast material, the paint and everything else, what well, we're going to see as we go along these next couple videos, but I'm pretty darn sure I'm going to be able to get this thing gutted out and boom, right on top of here. Now, Thad, my homeboy, Iowa, Iowa Bashers, he done told me, he's like, man, please tell me you're going to make this rusty. And to be honest with you, I just might. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to figure out if this can rust on its own, because if it can... I'm going to go ahead and just scratch it up and stick it outside and let it rust on its own. I think that'd be pretty cool. But one of the main differences between this and this, besides the, the cost of it, is this is a bunch lighter. I've already got my scale out here, and I haven't done this yet, but I mean, I can just feel that this is lighter. This is lighter. So you got the Silverado here at 13.8 ounces. This, with the wheels and everything, I mean, remember, this is gutted out. There's nothing in here. This complete truck is 10.9 ounces. So I know once I gut this whole thing out and get it ready to go on here, I may not have to upgrade my shocks. And that is going to be, well, a shock, no pun intended. This should easily come apart. I already know that I'm going to run into some issues with the bed, but I figured in this video, we're just going to tear it apart real quick and uh, at least get the bottom chassis off of it and kind of see what we're working with now remember here's the front of our truck here's the back of our truck the bed is going to fall right on top of these electronics here so either i'm going to have to take the bed out and do a bed liner or move some electronics or depending on where it sits i mean i don't know i might be able to pop two holes in the bed and actually mount it like a regular body i, I mean i don't know yet so we're going to go ahead and take these six screws out real quick and see exactly what we're working with. To be honest, when I saw this for 11 bucks, I was very excited. They had two different trucks. They had this and they had a 79. I think it was like a Chevy fleet side or something. I'm probably gonna get that wrong, but it was very long like this. And all I did, because of course I didn't have this on me, but they had a Bronco for sale. Same Jaded Toys Bronco that I had. So I took that off the shelf and held it up to this body, and the wheel wheels were exact. And I thought, there, there it is, right there. So I brought it home yesterday. I did a real quick, short little video just to kind of see 
you know, uh, if anybody had an appetite for another die cast body from Amazing RC, I tell you, I, I have some popular videos in my lineup. You know, my on off switch video, I think it's got, you know, 40, 50, some odd thousand views. You know, that's one of my more popular ones. But the die cast SCX24, both the Bronco and the Silverado, they all have several thousand views on them. So very popular. I get questions all the time. You know, how did you do that? And, and, and you know, how did you get this here? And how did you make that fit? And what do I need to upgrade? So the appetite for a die cast body on these is definitely out there. We already know that these 24 scale rigs are super customizable and super upgradable. The one thing, oh, I could do a cab only if I had to, which I'm not. I want the bed. I really want the bed. I think the bed's going to look super duper dope on here, but I can already feel that the cab is coming loose. Cool. So here's our chassis. We got some wheels falling off. Plastic chassis. Cool wheels to go in a diorama someday. I never throw any of this stuff out. You'd be amazed at when this is, you know, this, this comes in handy. All right, so... Oh, does this pop out? Killer. This little bed here comes apart so this and i thought of this too at walmart and i think it's like four bucks you know the old popsicle sticks we used to like build all these wild bridges and stuff with when we were kids in school they have a real thin popsicle stick i mean it's not a popsicle stick but it's a real thin one it comes in a bag of like 75 of them for like four bucks man talk about a a perfect wooden bed you know to be honest with you it would be like these I need to finish these and get these, you know, stained and finished. This goes to the semi-trailer for the, the uh, Tamiya flatbed at Grand Hauler. It's like those, but mini. You just cut them up and slide them in there. Anyway, so this comes out, which is nice. And it looks like, you know what? The bled, the bed, the bed, the bled. The bed is plastic. This is die cast. So we got a couple options here. This is probably going to need to come out. I don't know if I just need to pop this out. Got kind of an interior and stuff here. I'm pretty sure. Look, we're already... I mean, come on. It's like you can see it. You you just know how dope this is going to be when it's done. Boom, look at this. I mean, come on. Look how killer... Even doing just a wood bed back here. Keep all this right where it was. And boom, just a flat bed. Pow! Man, I knew when I picked this up. It was gonna be it was gonna be the bee's knees, my grandma used to say. Put this back on. Oh come on. Look how dope this is gonna look. Look at how dope this is gonna look. Man, I knew this was gonna like I always say, guys, comment section is yours and look it on the inside here. On the inside of the bed. Here's where all my electronics are, right here. I've got one piece of plastic I can chop out of there. And this will just slide over all the electronics. I can do a bed liner. I mean, worst case scenario, that's going to be, that's in. So, so we're in already. All I got to do now is figure out, looks like the front bumper will slide off. Got the rear bumper here. We can set this bed to the side. Now we're working on, and like I said before, you know, hood opens, doors open. I mean, come on, man. Die cast. Oh, oh, huh, huh, huh. watch this. Looks like this is just going to fall right out. Oh, dude, we're already in there, guys. And then I'm going to paint the engine because it's just black. Yo. Boom. Just drops right out. Here's our steering wheel. Oh, dude, I think the steering wheel turned to the wheels. No, the wheels were fixed. The steering wheel's got this little deal in the back. But boom, see how all black and just cheap plastic? 11 bucks, 11 bucks. Man, I'm gonna get this all painted up. Y'all ready? Are you ready? Boom, boom! Dude! Psh, come on. I mean, are you serious right now? Look how dope this is. Yo, come on. Man, my 24 scale is gonna be on time. Bim bim! A little door action. Just basically shave whatever part of the interior out that's gonna bump into all the stuff. But I mean, we're already there. Literally, we are already there. 
I could snap this little metal piece or plastic piece out in the center here and drop this down and we would have, we'd have a truck. God, look how killer that looks. I mean, this is, this is on time. Well, I'll tell you what, and you know what, you know what's crazy? Is there's still, even with, oh yeah, let's do the weight. Now remember, the Silverado body, 13.8. Both pieces, 7.5. That's half. This weighs half of this body. And I, I, if I could balance this up here, with no, no upgrade to the springs at all, it still has... I just can't balance it on there. It still has some, some spring in it. Look, look, look. No, no, nothing. So now all I got to do is take, this has these little spring retainers, slide these down, pop a little zip tie action in here. No upgrade needed. I think we're ready to rock and roll. Man, this thing is bad, dude. I can't stop looking at it. Dude, look how dope this is. Comment section's yours, guys. I'm going to go ahead and figure out what I need to do to get this thing popped on here. I can always make it rusty. I think I want to get it fit first. And then we can go with the rust. Because now, now I got to spray the rust. First I wanted to just rust this thing. We still can do the natural rust. And then do a different bed. But this is plastic. So we can't naturally rust the plastic. But man this thing is dope. Like I said guys. Opening doors. Opening hood. Got freaking dope that is. Come on, man. You guys can see it already. I know all my RC guys and gals out there can see this. I know y'all can see what's going on right here. Comment section's yours. I'm going to go ahead and put this video to a full and complete stop right now. The next time you see this, I'll have instructions on what I did to get this attached to here and it, what, if anything, I had to do to upgrade this. American Legends Motor Max Walmart, guys. Officially licensed old Chevy product telling you 11 bucks is what i paid for this just check your just check your wheelbase man if you got to take your rig with you take your rig with you and hold it up and you'll know if it's if it's going to not work that's my only make sure you do that other than that if it's too heavy you can still make it work if you can't tell i'm excited 1966 chevy c10 24 scale bim bim and i'm out of here See you guys with another cool video very, very soon.